Hi, I'm John Marston of the American Society of Civil Engineers, Associate Editor of the Civil Engineering Source, and your host of ASCE Interchange Live. Thanks for joining me today for a discussion on ASCE's upcoming IMAX movie, Cities of the Future, Reimagining Our World. My guest today is Monica Morales, a water resources engineer for Jacobs in California and Nevada. And she's one of the stars of Cities of the Future, which will have an exclusive preview screening next month at the ASCE 2023 convention in Chicago. Welcome, Monica. Thanks for joining us today. Thanks for having me. Well, you know, Cities of the Future is inspired by the ASCE Future World Vision Project, which helps today's engineers reimagine infrastructure for tomorrow's built environment. Understanding the potential opportunities and challenges that may lie ahead can help shape what the future may look like. So, Monica, what is future of this? What is Cities of the Future about, and how will it help accomplish this goal? So, Cities of the Future helps um, promote ASE's Future World Vision Initiative, and it looks into 50 years in the future um, by showcasing what mega cities might look like, and then also looks at um, various larger cities to see what they're doing, uh, designing for sustainability in mind, intertwining uh, the environment, people, society. How can we make future designs more sustainable while inspiring the future generation to want to uh, help solve these challenges with us in the future? Yeah. What kind of things are already being done within the profession to shape this future world vision? Well, I'm currently on some really amazing historic um, programs and projects in Southern California where I get to uh, wake up every morning knowing I'm helping with solving future droughts in Southern California. And um, so we're working in, in teams with many different engineers and municipalities to help solve uh, water shortages and challenges down there to create for more independent and sustainable water resources. I know across the country in the United States, there are many different initiatives to create for more uh, green spacing, uh, sustainable energy initiatives, sustainable buildings, uh, regenerative milk buildings, um, making sure that we don't uh, just go from cradle to grave or we think about cradle to grave in our designs, but what can we do after the grave? So for like landfills, can we cap the landfills and then create parks on top of them and um, make it so they're places that people want to enjoy and will um, provide even more just just fun in, in society. Yeah, about the movie, how are the cities featured in the film selected? Why is it important to explore current cities when considering how to design for the future? Yeah, so the, there's three main cities featured in, in the film, from my understanding, and that's Singapore, Amsterdam, and Los Angeles. And by, well, as engineers, we're always looking at what other engineers are doing or what other engineering projects incorporate. And then there's sometimes just small tweaks to make it 10 times uh more valuable for uh, a certain city. So by exploring what other cities are doing right now um, and understanding what they're doing to uh, combat certain climate conditions in their, in their space, and we're thinking about what climate's going to be like 50 years in the future, and then taking those ideas and initiatives for you know, that future in mind, um, it helps create for you know, a solid foundation of design while um, creating the possibility for innovation in those designs, too. Hmm. You're active in the Future Cities competition. And in the film, we follow one middle school student team and your support of it as the student's uh, team's advisor. So why is that a, a, a big uh, component in the film? Yes. Um, so I served as a judge for the uh, when uh, Future Cities competition was held virtually during the uh, pandemic shutdowns. And it was just so inspiring because these middle school aged 
students get a prompt from the competition to design a future city. The current prompt from back then was how to design a city on the moon and what kind of new engineering fields would um, be incorporated because of that, like gravity engineering, et cetera. Um, so these students are given uh, very detailed uh, real world situations in which they provide future designs in and they absolutely excel in them. They create a presentation, a model diorama, um, and then a written report as well with very good research that goes into it. Um, and they're all excited about it. You know, they're, they get to be creative in their solutions and then kind of think in, in this real world scenario. So why that's important with the film is from my understanding, the film really wants to kind of take a perspective from a student lens, um, what kids can do right now and how they can be inspired to help solve these future problems with us with current professional engineers. And so by getting them inspired from an early age, we can help propel and fill, you know, future professions in STEAM and engineering and um, really take on and tackle these uh, challenging um, situations we're in with climate change, et cetera. So they get a piece of, you know, creating wonderful solutions and creating their positive impact on communities they really care about. Huh. Sounds like it'll be fun to see those kids' dioramas in IMAX. Yeah. Yes, yeah, they're, they're gorgeous. How about that? Yeah, that'd be cool. How can cities of the future help inspire the next generation of civil engineers? And what can current civil engineers do to help? Yeah, I mean, um, cities of the future is kind of like a sequel to Dream Big. So anything like Dream Big was where it creates for that kind of human component of engineering while making it awe-inspiring with all the visuals um, with the huge screen that's on IMAX. I feel like it'll encourage kids to see how um, beautiful engineering can be, how um, um, in inspiring it can be to create solutions for your society and really make your own imprint on it in a positive way. So I, I really hope that students love the film. I know I loved Dream Big and I watched it many times over with all the outreach I did using it. So I really hope this movie can be used as another tool for other outreach for students as well. So I'm, I'm, I'm really excited to share it with my um, local community and, and, you know, the community at large, too, and really hoping that we can um, get some more future engineers on board. Cool. Yeah. From what you know about uh, how the movie is coming together, what do you think will be the most exciting thing people will see in the I'm sure there's going to be so many different uh, exciting scenes. Um, the one that I'm particularly looking forward to is watching my good friend Paul Lee uh, rock climb in Lake Powell. And um, I'm sure that that's just going to be a beautiful scenery and image. And then also, you know, again, with the, the personal um, connection with dream big and what cities of the future will be just seeing the kids um be so excited and show off their skills their their presentation was just uh so creative and they're so passionate about it so i'm really excited for those kids to be featured and all of their hard work because they put so many hours into it and their parents um with supporting them in their their projects so um i'm i'm excited to see both all the awesome images and then also um the, the kids being able to be featured with you know, all their, their work that they've been doing for their engineering um, related uh, future city competition. Cool. Yeah. Well, we're looking forward to it. And uh, so thank you, Monica, today for joining us on this uh, great discussion about the cities of the future. And I appreciate it. And we look forward to seeing you in the movie. Yeah. I'm excited. <laughs> yeah. Thanks again for being with us today. Of course. To, le to learn more about the upcoming IMAX movie, Cities of the Future, Reimagining Our World, go to futureworldvision.org. And for more information on ASCE's Interchange series, visit asce.org slash interchange. Thanks for watching today.
And we'll see you next time on ASCE's Interchange Live.